that is a lot of traffic up there. All right, challenge is about to get real right here. Now we got behind this super slow truck. We're gonna try to change. We got a Jeep coming up that isn't gonna let us in. A brand new Model 3. You can see they got the templates. That is awesome, and they're dirty as me. Uh, this van is stopping. Oh man, I probably look stupid here. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Test the Challenge. This is number seven. We have version 10 software update here, and we're gonna see if the improvements to autopilot are good enough to drive me all the way to work. So if you're not familiar with the Tesla Challenge series, there will be timestamps in the description to show you any interesting things I come across while the car is driving me to work. But the goal is to see if the car can go on ramp to off ramp, just like Tesla advertises. Nice little braking there for that guy. So Tesla says their cars at this point are capable of going on ramp to off ramp with driver supervision. So I won't do anything dangerous. I'll always have hand on the wheel. If I have to take over because the car is gonna do something dumb or something dangerous, then the challenge is over, the car loses, and that's the end of the video. So just a few things before we start. I'm using the ultra wide setting on this GoPro. Let me know what you think. I, I don't think it looks as good, but it allows you to see the steering wheel um, and the stocks and stuff so you know that I'm not driving. Uh, the other way you can know is this blue steering wheel. If I try to drive, there. Uh, the car will make that noise and this won't be blue anymore. And then you know that I'm driving. I've had some people say, oh, I can't see your hands or it looks like you're driving. So I don't, I don't trust you. Another thing is this video won't have any cuts during the challenge. I will fast forward parts of the video, uh, but I won't cut anything out. And that way, you know, the car has done everything. If we do make it to our destination, I have had some successes, some failures. There's some pretty interesting videos in this series. So make sure you check out the full playlist. My car is a dual motor built in 2018. I have hardware 2.5 right now. I bought Enhanced Autopilot, but there was a small window there where Enhanced Autopilot uh, purchases got upgraded to full self-driving. I have a video about that if you're interested. For my Navigate and Autopilot settings, uh, oh, it's Mad Max. That explains what's been going on the past few days. That So that changed with the version 10 update. I always keep it on average. I think it has a much better rate of success on average. Um, so I'm gonna switch back to that. But that should be everything. Let's get the challenge started. All right, I always like to attempt this left turn. Not that Tesla advertises the car can do it, uh, but the car often does it. A uh, little squirrely with the steering wheel there, but that's uh, not rare for me anymore. This car very typically will make that left turn. Okay, so here's the start of the challenge. We're getting on the highway and we have to merge. It looks like there's a good amount of traffic. Um, so I'm gonna set my speed to 78. Following distance will be two and that's it. So now I'm not going to change any settings. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to keep a hand on the wheel and let the car do its thing. So we did have a car approaching there um, in this lane, but they saw my turn signal and they slowed down for me, which if you've seen any of my other videos is not very typical. Normally they speed up and try to cut me off. Um, so that was very nice of them. So the new animations in version 10 are a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> I don't know if they're all that useful, but it's nice for these challenges, at least, if I want to look around, we can kind of see the different things the car is seeing. Um, looking behind, I mean, it doesn't always get the behind cars, but look how far back. I mean, that guy is really far back there, and the car is picking him up. So it's, it's pretty nice to see the different angles. And even up there, if you do three fingers, you can actually move forward. And look at that. It sees that pickup truck. It's that one way up there. Um, so it's pretty impressive. So the car is now supposed to be able to dynamically move within the lane to get you farther away from semis. Um, I've had it happen a few times. Let's see if it happens here. Uh, yeah, so I'm not noticing it too much, but we're not all that close to that semi, so I don't feel like it's necessary. But yesterday on my way home, I had a few times where the car actually, we came up to a semi and the car went very obviously moved over to the left part of the lane to get away from the semi. And then after we passed the semi, it moved back to the center. And it was really nice. It was very natural, very human-like. Uh, that was a, a small complaint I had before is that when you go by a huge truck sometimes, the car um, being so centered in the lane, if they weren't, if they were you know, closer to you, then you're getting really close to them. 
um, and that seems fixed now. So we'll see if it, it always happens. So far it's happened every time I've needed it to. All right, so this can be a little bit of an annoying situation. Uh, the car does what you would think is the right thing, getting out of the passing lane, um, but actually traffic's not too bad today, so it's not a big deal. But you ha usually have a lot of people merging onto the highway from over here, and it's better to just stay in the passing lane until you're past this uh, ramp. Uh, but actually today that was perfectly fine. All right, so we're gonna pass to get around the slow traffic here. And the lane changes uh, in version 10 so far seem smoother. Um, you know, lane changes have been really good for me in the, in the past few versions, really since like 2019.16 or so. Um, but yeah, th this is a bit smoother. It's just, they've been so good. I mean, there's not really much to improve on in my opinion. Okay, so we're coming up to some traffic here. The car is doing a really good job slowing early and uh, gently. The braking is a little more abrupt there, but, but still appropriate. Uh, nobody behind me, you know, you can see nobody's close behind me or slamming on their brakes or anything. So this is more typical. Usually this traffic starts earlier, right around uh, that on-ramp there. And so that's why I don't like to get in that lane because um, it's just too much going on. So taking off from a stop is also really improved before when the car would slow down. Uh, getting back up to speed, especially the first 20 miles an hour or so, would just take forever. And you'd have to hit the go pedal yourself, no big deal. Um, but now the car is just a lot more natural at taking off from stops. Uh, so the people behind you won't be confused if you know, you're not doing it yourself. Yes, all of this stop and go is just a lot more natural than it used to be. And it's really it's really nice. I mean, it's just crazy. You can see the improvements. And, and it makes me think of Smart Summon because, you know, everyone's talking about how Smart Summon is a little too slow or too uh, cautious. And I, I get it. I don't see a whole lot of use cases for it right now. But man, in another six months or something, or maybe a year or maybe three months even, it's gonna be so good. Um, I mean, when I first got this car, it didn't do the lane changes on its own. I couldn't have done this type of challenge because it, it didn't do this. It, it didn't take it did, it did it did take it did take exits on its own, uh, but it didn't do the lane changes. Uh, and it would have been really annoying to just sit in one lane the whole time. So the improvements over time are just insane. I mean, I've had the car six months. When I first picked it up to do a lane change, I had to you know hit the the turn signal and then it would do the lane change for you. But man, I mean, maybe forty percent or thirty percent of the time, it would totally bail on the lane change, go swerving back. I mean, not swerving like it's dangerous, but it would it would jump back into its original lane, canceling the lane change. And I was kind of like, you know, that's really annoying. Uh, so I'm just going to do the lane changes myself. I mean, I, I don't see any point in letting the car do the lane changes when it keeps bailing on them. And now, I mean, I don't think I've had that happen in months, probably two months now, since a lane change uh, has been bailed on. Now that one, of course, as I'm saying, that was canceled, but it wasn't halfway through the lane change. So that's not as big of a deal. The car just decided, oh, this isn't the right thing to do right now. Before you'd be more than halfway into the other lane, the car would bail on the lane change and you'd go back in the lane, you know, you look like an idiot. Um, so the improvements over time, I mean, they're just massive. So I, I'm really excited for kind of the future of Smart Summit and you know, the future of this, uh, it's just, it's gonna be really nice. Okay, so we're getting over. Um, one thing, one complaint I still have is that the car still, when a, a lane opens up, it still kind of veers into that. I was really hoping that would be fixed. It's, it's really annoying because you have two lane lines and when it opens up, the car thinks, oh, the lane is super wide now. Well, you know, you still have a lane, a lane line here. You still have a line to follow. So, I mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm not a programmer. I don't really know how it works, but you would think the car could figure out, oh, I'm gonna follow this line that I still have. I'm not gonna go searching for the one that disappeared. You know, so it doesn't make much sense to me, but I mean, I gotta imagine it'll be fixed eventually. So still, even in version 10, uh, my car doesn't realize that that is an open lane. You can tell by the green arrow, we're allowed to drive there. Um, but just because it's a solid line, 
which is nice now in this animation you can see solid versus versus dashed lines um, the car won't go over there it just would be nice if it knew because then it could stay in this lane uh, we're not in the passing lane um, and it wants to get out of the middle lane so now we got behind this super slow truck we're gonna try to change we got a Jeep coming up that isn't gonna let us in. And, all right. Everybody kind of moved out of the way, but the lane change was good enough that uh, if that person would have stayed there, we would have been fine. brand new Model 3. You can see they got the templates. That is awesome. And they're dirty as me. What up? <laughs> That's awesome. That's the only other dirty Tesla I've seen. Okay, so there's a very obvious, I hope it came out cross on the camera, we came up to that truck and the car like moved way over in the lane and now when we pass it, we should move back over. Uh, so, yep, right there. You could even see if you're looking right here at this, the wheel kind of went like that. Um, so it doesn't happen every time, but when it happens, it's really cool. And then we have another Tesla, like, come on, it's Michigan. You're not even legally allowed to buy them here. Um, and they're taking over. That's, that's what's up. There's a lot of traffic up there. All right, challenge is about to get real right here. Oh, we got a tire over there. Man, good thing I was in this lane. <laughs> that would have uh, most likely been a fail. I mean, you never know, maybe we can uh, avoid obstacles now, but hasn't been there in the past. Okay, so getting over. Uh, to follow route, that's that's really good. Um, so this this highway splits, uh, and I need to go right. So it, it's a little early. We could have stayed here for a little longer, um, but I you know I'd rather be over here now. So you can see here the car is indicating this is the lane it wants to end up in eventually. It doesn't have its turn signal on. It's not going there now, um, but it just kind of shows you what it wants to do. All right, we're getting really close here. We're gonna have to make a lane change if we wanna make our exit. Um, before we get there, comment below. Let me know what challenges you wanna see in the future, uh, what you're interested in. These are super fun. I, I think Smart Summon, of course, will start coming into these challenges. I actually have one that I've been working on um, that's not a driving challenge. Uh, so in that one, I say seven um, because I thought it was gonna go up before this one, but I've been so busy with all the version 10 stuff, it just, kind of got left behind but it's it's a timeless one so it can it can go up whenever okay so turn signals on um, it's a small gap here uh, this van is stopping oh man I probably look stupid here but he's letting me in and the car is doing it so that's really good um, I've never been in that situation where it's like that slow um, I kind of thought the car might bail um, but I just looked like a dummy probably but uh, the car got over, so I'm okay with that. All right, and here it is. Uh, I don't think we'll have any problems taking this exit, I hope, at least. Um, and there it is, a nice, smooth, slow exit. So, challenge number seven, a success. Nice job, version 10. Uh, very smooth commute to work. Uh, I had nothing, I don't think, to complain about that whole time. The only thing I want to see improved is the semi, you know, moving over for the semis. That is awesome. It's a huge improvement. It just doesn't happen every time yet, but it's brand new. So, you know, like everything with this car, it'll get better over time. I mean, no car does that. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you want to see in the future, and I will see you in the next video.